Shalom, Dimadekwana Abudi. Not only are we on holy ground at the Urban Life Church, but I am in the midst of legends tonight. I'm so excited. Legendary music producers are in the building. Legendary men of God are in the building. Ministers in music coming here to spread the word all the way from over the seas. Welcome home and welcome to South Africa, Mr. Maurice Fitzgerald. Yes, glad to be back. I love South Africa. It's a, it's just so awesome to be here after the pandemic and just being stuck in the house and not being able to travel anywhere, to to come to, to my one of my first overseas trips to be home, South Africa. Oh, is this your first time this time? <laughs> no, no, I've been here before, but it's been many years, so mm-hmm. it just feels great to be able to be here. You know, it's you awesome. You are totally welcome. How was the session tonight? Oh, it was amazing. I, I mean, I didn't know what to expect um, tonight. Um, they told us we were going over to to do like a clinic or a music conference kind of situation to kind of pour into the musicians. And I got here and it was something I just totally didn't expect. And it was just so awesome to connect with other musicians and to hear them say, you inspire me. And to it was just a beautiful um, atmosphere in the room. And that's what it's all about to be, to for me to have played music all of these years. It's not really almost always about the stage and who I play for, but when you can see the smiles on other musicians' faces yeah. and the inspiration that you poured into, into them through your gift, that's the beautiful thing for me. I love Amazing. it. Amazing. Well, the music workshop was beautiful, so inspirational. So many people said that outside, and it's all thanks to all of you on the stage. What else is your purpose for being the side at this time? The purpose is to help to bring a new sound of worship that no one has ever heard. This is, I think, some of the most talented group of people have assembled to do this recording. That I've been on many records, but it's a lot of beautiful and incredible gifts that have come together with great songwriting. The songs are amazing. The musicianship, the singers, it's just going to be like you walking into heaven on, on the 19th. I promise you, it's going to be that beautiful. If God shows up like we anticipating for him to do, it's going to be like <laughs> you having a glimpse of heaven. I love it, walking into heaven. So you mentioned bringing a new sound, right? Give me your opinion on music crossing continental boundaries and a lot more international artists, not only performing in Africa, but also collaborating with a lot of African artists. Oh, I think it's amazing. I think this is what, um, how God intended it. I, I don't think music should just be bound to one genre where it doesn't, oh, yeah, that's gospel, we can't go over there, it can't go over here. I grew up in traditional gospel where it was like, you play gospel and they just sit here and you had an audience that only listened to gospel music. Now it's crossing boundaries. You got people like Kurt Franklin where everybody knows him. You know what I mean? He's like international. So that is a beautiful thing that God is doing that because his music is for the world, not for one body of people. That's how I feel. Definitely, I love it. As much as there's a lot of things that are changing negatively in the world, there's still so much positive light that you can see the servants of God, like you, putting into this earth. And we appreciate and thank you for that. You've worked with so many artists and you've been in this industry for a while now. Give me one highlight or just one blissful memory that you just can't get out of your mind. Uh, Okay, Um, I have a few, but I'm going to talk about how the first time I was playing with... um, Pastor John P. Key, and when I went, my assignment was over with that, I had the opportunity to work with the great Fred Hammond, who not only is one of the greatest vocalists and songwriters in gospel music, but he's also an amazing bass player too. So for me, I'm like, I'm with this guy who I just grew up on commission, and I'm his bass player. And when I walked on stage, we were on tour, and it was us, Yolanda Adams, um, so many different artists all on one stage, and I was just like, God, you have really put me in the place that I've dreamed of, of as a kid and how I've worked on my gift to get there. So for me, that was a pivotal moment. And also being on stage with CeCe Winans, I toured with CeCe Winans for a period of time. And to see how she just ushered, I don't care where she went, she's just going to bring you in to worship. She had no shame. She never dumb me down. She can be in the White House. She's going to scream Jesus because she love him. And I love the way that felt. I love it felt amazing being on stage with somebody who you knew was a servant of God to bring his word to his people. So those are two pivotal moments that I can that I remember. And definitely priceless memories, right? Before I let you go, I must teach you a Venda word because I am from the Venda tribe. Okay. 
So I'm going to teach you. It means good evening. Okay. Di madekwana. Di madekwana. Madekwana. Yes. Madekwana. Got so it. So I want you to say to the camera, Di madekwana, you're watching gospel news essay. Di madekwana, you're watching gospel music. Music. <laughs> <laughs> I messed it up, but we did it.